My name is Paul Hannon. I uh, graduated in 2009, just about May 2009, uh, with an English major, creative writing minor, and I was a creative campus intern uh, from 2008 through 2009. I just got back from three months in New Zealand filming for a documentary on the conservation of the kiwi bird, um, the endangered national icon of New Zealand, and my band Squirrel House is currently going on a tour of the southeast, and um, then in August I'm moving to Austin, Texas to attend the UT Austin MFA program in film. I mainly focused on two projects, uh, the Lakeside Music Series, and before that, in a before I was an official intern, I helped out a lot with the Fountain Music Series, which was its predecessor. And also, I worked uh, a lot on the Tech is Art Expo. And as much as the Lakeside Music Series consumed the vast majority of my time, um, the Texas Tech is Art Expo was probably the most memorable thing I worked on, um, just because. It was such a unique project compared to anything else we were doing and compared to anything I'd seen on campus and just how incredibly well it actually went. went. I mean, people showed up with their cool stuff and it was actually cool, it wasn't lame. I thought it was just going to be lame, but it was actually a bunch of cool stuff and everyone was really enthusiastic and talking to each other and it was kind of exactly what we had all hoped it would be. Statistically intangible skills that I have taken away from the experience that will help me professionally. Because the things I'm interested in doing, um, film directing, uh, playing music, um, writing, you know, those are all, for the most part, until you like, really make it, they're all really self-managed, self-directed things. And you have to have those organizational communication skills if you want to be able to do those professionally. I mean, there's, you know, there, there, you can have all the talent in the world, but if you don't have the, the business skills and the logistical skills, you're not going to get anything done. Five, ten years, I think Creative Campus can become, I mean it already is a really positive force on campus. Um, I mean it's, I think people who don't come in and take a look around, don't talk to people here, don't really understand just how much Creative Campus actually does on campus. Um, we're kind of like the the benevolent machine on campus. Um, you know, we don't rig elections or stuff like that. We we help administer new experiences on campus that wouldn't be here otherwise. And I think Creative Campus will continue in that role. But what I really think is that once, as it becomes more and more established, it'll become more of a community hub for artists and people looking to do creative things outside the realms the pre-governed guidelines of the university um, while still kind of being within the university. I think the existence of a thing, organization like Creative Campus, is essential to the successful growth of a community. And Alabama is so focused on growing the student population every single year right now that I think if you were to lose Creative Campus, you would lose a vital part of the community and an outlet for creative growth as well as economic or purely statistical growth. And that's one of those things that a lot of people take for granted. But once it's gone, it's 
you suddenly realize what you're missing, and especially if you have an established organization, it's hard to get it back. So I think Creative Campus is doing great things and um, should continue to be a major force on campus.